So, so let's not put anybody up on a pedestal, neither should we condemn anyone. Uh, because, because behaviors aren't the whole picture, and because everything that we see is an outward picture of an inward condition. If we see something we don't like in the world or in a behavior, it's simply something we need to pluck out of our own consciousness. If we see an enemy, then we need to pluck that out. We're not going to find that perfect equality unless we are good at plucking, plucking, plucking judgmental thoughts, plucking opinions. And, wow, I, I feel like the only reason I ever talk about the parable of David is because they're just symbols of, of trust, of divine trust. Hitting the open road for five years with, with no financial support, no organizational support, just going out like the sannyasis from India, you know? Just going out there and seeing what shows up. Talking to Jesus. Listening to Jesus. This is fun. It's, it builds your trust. It, it takes you beyond economics. It takes you beyond fears of survival. It takes you outside of careers, outside of jobs. It, you know, I, I really took an early retirement uh, when the course came. Uh, I, I still had student loans to pay, but Jesus, you know, here you're going to go here, you're going to work at this. We got to clear this up first, and then your mind. I'll use you in ways you can't even comprehend. So don't even ask, or don't don't even try to figure out the future. I've got you. I will go before you and make straight your path, and leave no stones to trip on, no obstacles to bar your way. To to go beyond the words of that beautiful passage, the promise to go into the actual experience of divine love and, and trust leaves you in a state where you don't have a care or a worry about anything at all. That's what this is about. He says, can you imagine how wonderful it was to have such a quiet, tranquil mind? That is what time is for, to learn just that and nothing more. He's, he's inviting us into stillness. And we have to trust to do that. We're not going to be able to carry on this past learning, this old conversation of what have I got to do and how am I going to do it. The Holy Spirit and Jesus are the how. Thank you.